You've been on the computer for hours. What are you doing? Yeah, dude. You remember when you showed me those NFTs? Mm -hmm. Well, it got me thinking like, maybe we should make our own NFT, you know? Yeah, that's a good so idea. So I started working on an NFT for like the three of us that like just really, really represents the house and like what each of us are about. I'm glad you're getting into it. Yeah, I'm yeah, I know. Yeah, this is sure. a good. I mean, it's still a work in progress, but I really think it captures everyone's essence really well. So you would sell this? Yeah, I mean, it's not finished finished, but it's pretty close to finished. Maybe, uh, Greg, what do you think of this? <laughs> Bro, what is this trash? What, are, what? What are you talking about trash? Like, okay. dude, this is perfect. Hey, 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 this is me, Brendan. I love trading or whatever. Spot on. And then Greg is always like, oh, I've been on TV and my hair is so big. I'm always banging on about wrestling or whatever. This is honestly the Worst piece of art I have ever seen in my entire life. Dude, I think you missed the social satire. No, 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 you kind no, of no. look I don't, here. I don't think I missed. I don't think I missed anything. I, so I also I have an idea. I mean, there's a gallery in New York City in Soho. They have Ferdenses. They have board apes and stuff. Maybe we just go check it out and see what they say and see if they can help us. Yeah, let's get hyped up, bros. Okay, so we're going to this fancy NFT art gallery, right? Yeah, it's called Bright Moment. Let's see what they say. Could you guys help us out actually minting an NFT? In the right place. My name is Avi. I am a crypto citizen and I work at Bright Moments. So I'm from Venice Beach, California, as well as many of us, our original DAO members. And Venice is like this perfect mix of artists and tech. Seth Goldstein, who has a, he's a serial entrepreneur, um, always been ahead of the curve with a bunch of Venice locals, uh, rented out a gallery space called a Bright Moments. As it started growing, we wanted to get foot traffic in our gallery during the day. And so we figured, why don't we create a thousand generative characters called crypto Venetians that resemble the Venice characters you see on the boardwalk and we'll give them away for free. We did it on the Art Blocks smart contract. So a lot of Art Blocks collectors wanted to get a piece of this and the only way to do it was to come IRL to our gallery. We are on a roadmap now of going to 10 cities around the world, minting a thousand IRL NFTs to get to 10,000 crypto citizens. Every city we go to, we sell a third of the collection to fund the city. We airdrop a third of the collection to our holders, and then we give away a third for free to local artists and local community members uh, as a way to onboard the local community um, and staying true to our original plan, which is just onboard as many people as possible. You know, obviously, as you know, like, art's complex, right? This is what we're gonna mint, wow. and I mean, I may have to bid. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, man, I... Now that you have the, the piece that you wanna mint on the blockchain, and I think we should use the Ethereum blockchain, it's the most popular. Um, you need to get yourself a crypto wallet. It's a non-custodial wallet, meaning you have full ownership of it. Uh, you can place your NFTs and your cryptocurrencies on it. Why you need it is because it's Web3 compatible. So when you go to list, mint your NFT, you'll need to pay a gas fee. And so you need a wallet with some ETH in it to mint your NFT. Awesome, well let's yep. do it. So a popular one we like to set people up with is called MetaMask. And so you're gonna basically put in your password and then it's gonna give you a 12 word seed phrase. What this is, is like your hardcore password that only you, it's for your eyes only. You always hear those stories of someone had like 5 million Bitcoin and they lost their, their, their password or their hard drive and they can't get access to it. This is that code that they're talking about. Don't wanna lose this because of all the money that's obviously gonna come into because of this incredible piece of artwork you know we gotta we gotta protect ourselves from uh from these thugs out here on these streets you know what i mean and that is for your eyes only again yeah it's your yeah. private key you know if you want to keep it like the, the safest place to be is probably like brendan's pants because no one goes there ever then the next steps after that will be you need to send some ethereum to that wallet so that you have what to spend for gas this is your wallet this is where you receive any ethereum you can scan the qr code and this is your public address this long ugly string of numbers, it's called your public address. You'll see every transaction history done to this wallet. So there'll be nothing in here because you've never done any transactions. But if I send you Ethereum, it'll say, my public address sent you your public address, X amount of Ethereum. Once you mint something, once an entity is minted, it'll, it'll exist on OpenSea. Now you're connected, you have your account here, you can edit your profile picture, you can edit your name. Cool, so now I just press create? Yeah. 
you were minting your NFT. So I'm minting my NFT. You created the piece, the art piece, but minting means you're basically putting it on the blockchain, saying it's created today. Successfully minted. Boom. Boom. So guys, I know you're not gonna believe this, right? But they have asked me to showcase my NFT here tonight in front of all these people, because they guess what? They think it's a sick piece of art. They com you completely misheard what they said. Nope, they want it. And all of these people are gonna love it. They're not even gonna show it. Let's see. You gotta be kidding me.